Hi, this is Fun with Flags using GeoGebra. Flags are a great way to connect math to other subjects. Simply posing the question, what do you know about this flag, allows students to share their knowledge. Some students might actually know that this flag is that of the Republic of the Congo. Focusing on countries and connecting it to math allows students to explore other issues that can intertwine with math class. Students can find this flag on the internet, which allows a great opportunity to talk about how images are of different sizes. And since images can be of different sizes, that also changes aspect ratio of those flags. Now that's another topic for another day. But since images can be different, for this particular example, we're all going to use the same flag that is found at the link below through Britannica.com. And we're going to save that image to our desktop. Going to the provided link, we're going to right click and we're going to save image as. I recommend that you save it to your desktop for any temporary type of uh, images that you use. You can always easily delete it, but it will automatically give it a name. It's a JPEG and I'm going to save it. Once we have saved that image, what I recommend that you also do is to go ahead and get out of that. If it opens up, go ahead and next we're going to go to geogebra.org geometry. And on the left side here, we are going to click more and we're going to scroll all the way down to where it says media and we're going to click image. We're going to choose the file that we just saved which we remember we, sa we saved it on our desktop and I'm going to open it and there it is. Hit OK. Now this flag allows us to talk about shapes, we could talk about area with geometry, but for this particular activity example we're going to focus on the algebra, specifically with linear equations, but we could also talk about linear inequalities. To make it more mathy, let's put on the axes of a coordinate plane. And to do that, we hit the little hit the little wheel and we're going to go show axes. Even more specifically, we're going to show grid. And we're going to do the major grid lines. We're going to make this a little bit more transparent. So to do that, we're going to left click and we're going to click the teardrop. And if we toggle this, it allow us to make it a little bit more transparent. Not totally because then we wouldn't be able to see it. So we're going to make it transparent so we can still see through it. Now to work on vocabulary, we could talk about moving this flag or translating it to the first quadrant. So you can just simply left click and drag. And if you say translated to the first quadrant, students would probably place it somewhere in this manner. But we could also say translate it to the first quadrant so that it's bounded by the Y axis and the X axis. Now we can click the open coordinate plane and we can move our coordinate plane around as such. We can also enlarge our flag. Specifically, we could enlarge it so that it has dimensions of 8 by 12. So I'm going to click this point B and I'm going to move it so that it goes to 12. Now this flag has dimensions of 8 by 12. You could talk about the aspect ratio as well. You could do area of the triangle, area of the parallelogram, or the area of the entire flag. We could also have students translate it so that it has a certain domain, such as, uh, let's say, negative 2. If I tr translate it with a domain of negative 2 to 10, I could also translate it so that it has a certain range. Let's say it has a range of negative 2 to 6. We also have up here what looks like a calculator. If we click that, it's also going to give us opportunities to put in equations. 
So students can write the equations that will create this flag, such as x equals negative 2. That creates the left boundary of our flag. Our right boundary would be x equals 10. Upper boundary, y equals 6. And our lower boundary, y equals negative 2. We can also do the oblique lines making up the flag. So that for the top oblique line would be y equals x. And students can immediately see whether or not they are right or wrong because it's not going to match up if they are in fact wrong. For this line here, they're parallel. So they're going to have the same slope and we can identify that the y-intercept is negative 4. So our equation would be y equals let's see x minus 4. So this again is a very simple activity involving GeoGebra where students can explore flags of other countries and simply modeling that flag in the form of linear equations. A couple interesting points to look at here that can allow for discussion is the fact that our lines, which are in fact functions, are denoted with F, G, and H, as well as P. But the lines, which are not in fact functions, are just designated as equations. An interesting point to talk about and that the Geo GeoGebra program recognizes lines that are functions versus lines that are not functions. Try this activity. If you have questions, let me know. My email address is at the bottom of the description of the video. Hope you try it with your students. Thank you.